So today I'll be doing a review on the SDG Generation Gundam Gemini's O1 kit. This is the number 33 in the G Generation kit. Here's the side of the box. That's what it looked like when it's fully painted. Okay. See what's in the box. We get the black this black runner. We get this uh she sticker. Okay, very shiny. And then we get this uh poly cap. We get this runner here. Uh, runner A2 okay it's funny because the SD kit actually gives you a red piece for the feet where the 144 high grade did not even give you one or it did but you have to sorry you have to paint the white piece uh, on the high grade this one actually gives you a separate uh, white piece for the feet like right here so, I guess that's better. And that's it. Then you just have your manual here. So, yeah. Here's what the finished kit looked like. So, here's what the completed kit looked like. Um, so, I just did a basic street build. Uh, did not paint anything, uh, just the panel lining, and used all the stickers that came with it. So yeah, just a straight build. And here's what the back shot looked like. Um, for five dollar. Um, this is actually not bad. So yeah, that's what the kit looked like, and uh, here's what it looked like with the the armor. And this is what it looked like with the armor. The shoulder armors and uh, that's it uh, obviously since this is a SD kit it doesn't come with the leg um, tie armor that you get with the 1 slash 144 print but uh, yeah for the SD kit it's uh, for a really old kit it looks pretty alright there's the full with all the armors um, you also get a beam savers, um, but I don't want to use it, so, anyway, thanks for watching, uh, thumbs up.